Hello everybody, Izumi here, and today let's do, um, Slepnir EX Solo. So, first up in my party is going to be the Tiger God. Alright, second is going to be Sangrid. And third is going to be Voxy. Fourth is going to be Star Empress Hell. And last but not least is Iwas. I don't know how to say that. Alright, so here we go. Alright, Awakened Slutnir is in the melee row, is beast, and is grounded. His action skill Rolling Lux does 210% light attack damage to the enemy with the lowest light resistance and magic attack 20% up to three allies with the highest magic attack for three turns. Um, the auto skill does light attack damage and holy chain for three turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Holy chain applies to humans and Therians. Also there is the abyss boost holy which um, in this case um, Abyss boost affects hero affected heroes gain additional damage um, Damage reduction and skill gauge ramping up every three turns and a powerful light Or whatever the element may be counterattack when taking any damage other than dark and non-elemental So basically what that means is if you use anything but the uh, the element that they're weak to in this case dark then you're just gonna power them up and you're going to get counterattacked and yeah it's not gonna be good so and in Slepnir pretty much you're gonna wanna stick with doing um, dark damage you know in the new one that just came out today Sinmara you're gonna wanna stick probably with water damage um, the other one Bowl you're gonna wanna stick with um, light damage so um, you can tell up in the top corner there it'll say LV2. That's what you're actually looking for. So that's what it's going to power up. Um, usually you can use heroes and this one would be Dark Ipsum would reduce that. Or Hide, Awaken Hide if you got them fully awakened would reduce the level of that. Um, but in the way that I chose to do it is to, to ignore that and just go for straight damage. So... I tried doing it with Hyde and it was, he was, it just wasn't cutting it out. So I switched it around to this and boom, there you go. Um, so let's go on to obviously use dark damage. Um, the holy armor does light attack damage and holy chain for three turns to the farthest three enemies. Also restores HP to Slepnir. So. Get rid of him quick. Holy Chain applies to Aesir, Humans, Therians, and HP recover only on the second and third HP bar. So, yeah, get rid of him quick. Um, the Holy Hawk does restore HP to Slepnir and quick for three turns to Slepnir. Also, Light Wound for three turns to three enemies with the lowest light resistance. Light Wound applies to everybody. So, get rid of the armor, get rid of the Hawk, or they're going to heal. Um, some other heroes to use are definitely going to be Gephion, um, 100% Dark Ipsum if you have her. Um, actually, you can use Star Saint Noah, which you could, you're going to see at the end of this video that I actually unlocked. This was my first time beating it. I was so happy. And, um, like I said, you can use Hydrune earlier, um... Lavina probably, um, Star God Kawaru are pretty good for this too. So that's gonna be about it. We almost done here. Couple more hits. Couple more hits. Get Foxy to skill here. It should be about it. Boom, there you go. 
All right, we'll check to see the, who did the most damage and then go to see the Noah that I finally unlocked. So obviously Voxy did the most, but not by much. All right, there we go, and thank you for watching.